Welcome to Vintage Weights PGH. I am here at Home Gym Con 2023, and look at this table. I mean, could you want anything more if you walked on this floor? To see these kind of products sitting around, they're all designed and made by Cleva Built. <laughs> Steve Clever. Nice Welcome to, meet to you, my Steve. office. Yeah. <laughs> so it's bright and early on Sunday morning. It's been a fun weekend. How's it been going at home, GymCon? Good. Uh, it was a really nice turnout, and it's been nice to talk to a lot of the people that we've talked to over the years and have networked with. And yeah, it's nice to see everyone else's stuff. I would say the same. I mean, I've been talking with so many people online. It's nice to like put a face to a name. Yep. And people exactly. look different in person. I didn't even recognize. Half yeah, the people I've exactly. been talking with for like a year. Yeah. Uh, so, what attracted me to your booth was just my prior use of your Genesis Jack. Mm -hmm. Here's my review. It takes about three seconds. It's the best. Go buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I could end the video. So yeah. that's why the video isn't just about the Genesis Jack because I don't have much to say besides that. Go mm -hmm. buy it. It's the absolute best. But there are some other things that have developed recently with your company that I'm curious about getting into, but. Vintage Weights, PGH, I'm into the history of things, and that includes history in the making, and your company is making some history. So how did Cleverbilt start? What's the history of Cleverbilt? Um, I would say it started with me trying to come up with some sort of uh, more efficient method for like using a deadlift jack, because all the deadlift jacks on the market were kind of rudimentary and all the same, so I feel like, hey, there's a lot of room for improvement here. They and always looked like something to me personally that, uh, wasn't for home gym use. Yeah, it's like you know, two like cross heavy, members. clunky, yep. like took up too much space. Yep. Now reverse everything I said and that's Yep. That's what you got. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I just felt like there was a better way to do it and I have a fabrication background, so okay. it's kind of tinkering with a concept of like well, a fulcrum is going to minimize the effort required to lift this, so how can I incorporate that and I did about 8 or 9 prototypes before I got to a point where all the geometry was right mm -hmm. and the look is how I wanted it. And then my wife's the one that built the website and told me to, hey, stop revising this thing. Because <laughs> there'd be like 50 more revisions if it weren't for her. So then we launched it and that's how we kind of got going. I just saw your wife upstairs before I came down here and said, hey, I'm singing your guys' praises. And she said, who? And I said, well, <laughs> clever build, it's both of you. So yeah, yeah. It, it is both of them, you know. Yeah. And as far as the history of things though, I doubt you just stumbled into the fitness space. You know, what's your personal history with lifting, with working out? Well, I started like lifting weights in probably 2003. Um, and then shortly after that, I got into wanting to compete. So I did some bodybuilding shows. Uh, then after that, I ended up getting into some powerlifting. You know, I've done a few meets, so I kind of dabbled around, yeah. you know, in the fitness industry. I'd also did some coaching uh, throughout those years. And then uh, I think my body started to kind of feel it. Sure. So when I took a break, that's when my focus kind of still in fitness, but went to, you know, doing something else. Because something that's very important to me and that I think is important to a lot of viewers is that when I pay money for a product, I want to know that this isn't just uh, someone running a business, that this is someone who knows what they're doing in the gym and knows the nuances of what's going to make this product the best for me. Mm -hmm. So hearing that, you know, you are a very experienced lifter in multiple disciplines, mm -hmm. you know, and you have this long history in a gym means something mm -hmm. because you know that that handle is going to be comfortable. So in little things like that, you know, every time you use a product add up if something isn't comfortable mm -hmm. or if something grinds down when you put a bar on it. Yep. You know, and I'm sure you noticed that and that's why you put the plastic on the Genesis jack. Mm -hmm. So um, when it comes to the products that you've been making to branch out, just to kind of go through the table a little bit, I see some cool stuff here. So you've got this product here, which is both for a landmine and cable attachment. Cable yeah. attachment, and what's the name? This is the Atlas, the our multi-grip. Yeah. I always love your names too. So yeah, that's you, you give a lot of thought to your names. Clearly, a lot of it's uh, my brother-in-law. Okay. Sierra's uh, brother, he's come up with like he came up with the gyre name. Okay. The Atlas is something I got from a consumer off like Discord. 
Nice. Someone's like, use this. I said, okay, if we end up using that, I'll send you one. You know, Shout so. out the home gym Discord. Yeah. It took me about three months to figure it out because I'm like 105 years yeah, old. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, hey, it took me a while too. I was oh. like, how does this work? It's kind of confusing. But. <laughs> exactly. But since I got on there, the Vintage Weights channel on Discord has become a regular spot for me. Cool. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Discord. Hop on there no matter what you're into, whether you like to squat, like to buy products, or like Vintage Weights, there's something for you on home yep. gym Discord. So that's cool to see that the origin of the names that, you know, your brother-in-law helped you with some of them. One of them, Atlas came from home gym discord member. Yeah. How about uh, Genesis Jack? Was That's that? my wife. Because it was wife? our first son. We're believers. So she's like, hey, that'd be a cool name. Like the nice. Genesis of our products, nice. you know. Nice. So. That is very cool. And then the landmine, this, I'm pointing to this. This is not the landmine, This, but it uses the same yeah. base. And I'm assuming that this is a handle for doing landmine work yeah that's like a landmine club okay i think there's a few cool. names for them i haven't really established that yet for that but that's our version <laughs> but then what about the name of your landmine where did that come from landmine landmine attachment oh yeah um you can probably tell me more about that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is your this is your company so adroit oh the adroit okay yes. i thought you meant landmine i was oh, like no, oh no, you no. Know the more history of the landmine yeah I uh, that's my brother-in-law too a brother-in-law too. Yeah, he's a very interesting fellow. He's nice. smart and he has a lot of uh, a different way of thinking. So okay. I, I like to prod his brain a little bit about ideas for. So you basically just showed it to him and said, you know. I was like, this is what it does. Okay. I don't want a basic name. Yeah. And he, like a couple of days will go by and then he'll send me like a random word. I'm like, I've never heard of that word. <laughs> I have to look for it. <laughs> so now. What I'd like to do is get on the other side of the table, take a closer look at your landmine, because I did do a home gym history podcast on the history of the landmine with Bert Soren. You can check that out, viewers. I'll drop a link in the description. And that's over on Garage Gym Radio, home gym history. But let's go to the newer version of your landmine and kind of talk about it. Okay. So this is what we're talking about. This is the Adroit Landmine attachment by Clevabilt. And mm. Steve, you know, what's, what's the basis of the invention of this version of a landmine just to start? Well, so just to recap on our old one, um, it was very similar. It still used a heim joint. The bracketry was different. So it actually had a fixed bracket that used two bolts on the rack. And even though this is a high misalignment um, rod end, if you were to go like really far to just say one direction or the other, there would be some like limitations. Yeah. You know, which a lot of people didn't have a problem with. You have to be doing some pretty Mine wide range small stuff. small enough. My limitations are drywall on either yeah. side. <laughs> so um, that and people like the one post kind of one hole design that you can move it around. So I changed the design to have a built-in bearing with this flange that goes through the rack. It has a quick disconnect acetal nut for the back. Let me see that again, please. So yeah, that'll be quick to disconnect, one post versus two, yep. and then you've got a different bearing, you said, what's the fancy name of it? <laughs> oh, this is a like a heim joint. A heim joint. Yeah, okay. or like a spherical rod end. So now it has, Very like there's cool. zero, like you even do exercises wow. behind your rack because it has that well, kind of range of motion. I just mentioned that I have a relatively small gym. That's appealing to me because I'm always stepping over stuff I have stuff laying around. That'll be pretty cool that I can take it this way, that way. Mm -hmm. Now, what about up top here? This is pretty cool too, because in a small gym, I trip over my landmine attachment quite a bit. Yeah. So it's a small feature, but does that come with it? So that's going to be an option. Cause, okay. Cause this is gonna, option. Yep. This is because this is a premium product. So I yeah. want to give people the option to either just have their landmine lay wherever or they sure. can upgrade. and get the magnet mount so magnet mount yeah okay i was and gonna ask you what are you calling that yeah just a magnet mount i don't i don't think I, mean, I can really be too creative with that well right now i have some cheap uh, magnetic hooks from amazon uh -huh. that just stick on my rack but that looks a lot sharper it functions a lot better than the goofy hooks that i just knock off mm -hmm. anyway and trip so yeah when I, I put think it, that's cool i have a machined acetal pad here so because there's a magnet underneath so even over time, you're not gonna be scratching the powder coat on the tube because the magnet is protected by acetyl. Nice. So, so you're saying my cheap made overseas hooks from Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that Might this is very cheap. protected and you know. Yeah, that's and what it, I'm getting at is that I have no protection with yeah. my cheap knockoff hooks from Amazon. So as always with your products, 
you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. So that's my take in my personal use of them. I look forward to buying this one. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, anytime. Please head down to the description. I'll drop a link for Cleva Built. You'll hit them up on Instagram. You'll hit them up on their website to hopefully purchase some of their products. And you know why? Because this is Vintage Weights PGH, Old Weights, New Gains.